Talks there, Luke here, and in this video I'm going over differences between a polish and a wax. I used to work for a large automotive retailer in the UK, and I'm sure you can guess which one I was, but the amount of customers used to come up to me and go, yeah, I take really good care of my car, you know, I, I wash it and I polish it every single week, and I'm thinking, you polish your car every week? That's gonna ruin your paint, basically. Or you yeah, had the other customer, of course, who went, you know, every time I wash the car, I wax it, and I'm thinking again, it's not necessary to do that, it's gonna diminish the appearance of the car. So in this video, I'm crucially going to explain the differences and you know why you shouldn't polish your car every week and why it's not necessary to wax it every single week. Previously, I done a video demonstrating differences between a sealant and a wax, and you can click the link up here if you want to watch that video. Just understand, in this video, I'm going to be um, referring to both sealants and waxes as just waxes. The same can be said for polishes and compounds, since they do a very, very similar function. So I'm going to collectively refer to compounds and polishes that's just polishers. If you'd like to see a video in the future with me explaining the differences between a polish and a compound, please let me know in the comment section below. So what's the difference between these two products? Well, I'm gonna start off with a polish. Now, a polish is designed to try and take any minor scratches and imperfections out of the car's paintwork, such as swirl marks and little things like that. Now, polish is almost destructive in its properties. And for that reason, that's why you don't want to over apply it to a car's paintwork. So to understand how polish works, you have to kind of understand how a scratch appears visible to the naked eye. So imagine you've got a nice smooth panel like this. This is just your car's door or something, and it's got perfect clear coat, perfect paint, and there's no imperfections in that. And the light's going to come in, and it's going to bounce off nice and smoothly, and that's going to look great to your eye. It's going to have smooth reflections, it's going to be glossy, it's going to be shiny. Now, if someone comes along and scratches that panel, what they've done is give a sharp cutout to the car's clear coat. So instead of the light coming in and kind of just bouncing off nice and smooth, it's going to hit this like sharp V shape basically, which is your scratch. And it's going to come in and part of the light is going to reflect back. You know, the rest of the light is going to carry on, but certain bits are going to bounce back and hit your eye. And that's how we perceive a scratch. This is where polish comes into play. So this has got microscopic abrasives in it, which the idea is it's actually going to sand down the clear coat and make it a little bit thinner. The idea is this sharp V cutout or the sharp groove that's going to be your scratch is going to be kind of, you know, taken further apart. In the end, it's going to kind of represent a smooth dip in the paintwork instead of a sharp cutout. And because of that, the light can come in and still reflect back in a uniform and predictable manner, thus taking your eye off the scratch. You've got to understand there's only a finite amount of clear coat on the car. If you polish too much, especially if you polish every weekend, you're eventually going to go through that clear coat and then you're in trouble here. You're going to start polishing your base coat away and then more clear coat's going to have to be applied to the car. And you really don't want to do this. It's just destructive to the car's paintwork. For that reason, that's why good wash methods are really important because it's going to prevent the car from getting scratched. It's going to prevent the car from needing to be polished or at least on a much less regular basis. Because of this, your car's clear coat is going to survive for a much longer time. With proper wash methods, I might polish the car lightly with a machine polisher once every two years. And just in case you're quickly wondering what a compound is, it's a harsher version of a polish, so you have to be even more careful with these. But essentially, these are for restoration purposes. The wax is for protection. So compared to a polish which thins the clear coat out, the wax sits on top of the clear coat and actually, you know, it provides a little bit more protection on top, so it's a protective method rather than a restoration type method. And for that reason, there's no damage you can do to your car by applying wax to it. But the reason you don't want to do it every single weekend is, especially Canuba waxes like this, if you put them on like really thick and, you know, layer it up with loads and loads of layers, it's starting to haze and the appearance of the car is just going to look worse. The only time you might want to apply a really thick layer of wax to the car is if it's been sat up for a long time and you only have the protection rather than visual enhancements. See, a wax, because it sits on top of the car's clear coat, it is really, I mean, I'm talking about really, really small microscopic imperfections in the paintwork, the wax will fill them in and it's going to give the car more shine and more pop. And for that reason, 
a waxed carb has a bit more depth to it, a bit more shine, it looks a little bit more better. And crucially, the wax is going to protect from stuff like, you know, fallout, tree sap, and just basically pollutants which would normally bond to the clear coat. And the wax kind of prevent, uh, provides a layer of protection against that. So how often should I apply a wax to the car's paintwork? Well, it depends really on what type of wax you're applying. Some are more durable than others. So if you're applying a liquid wax or spray wax, I'd say typically apply that every one to two months. If you are applying a normal canuba wax, you typically get three months to six months, depending on how good the wax is. And then finally, if you're applying something like a sealant, which is more durable than a wax, you would typically get six months, maybe a bit more out of it, depending on if you prepped the paintwork properly. Now, one final thing, if you're going to apply a polish and a wax to a car in one go, make sure you apply the polish first, because the polish will eat through any wax that's on the paintwork of the car, and obviously you don't want to apply the wax and then take it straight off with the polish. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, um, or you've got a request of something that you'd like me to explain with car detailing or something else, please let me know in the comment section below and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more content in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching, take care, see you soon.